Did you like our guide on how to build a basic column but had a larger project in mind? In this episode of the Keystone How-To Series, we'll show you how to build a freestanding wall into the Country Manor 20 by 20 column project. Available at Lowe's. Let's get started. Before we begin, we'll want to create a shopping list. Here's a quick overview of the materials and supplies you're going to need to complete this project. Most of our do-it-yourself projects require these simple tools. If you plan on adding more keystone projects to your landscape, it'll be good to keep them around. Got your safety gear on? Now we can start preparing the base. Before we start building, you will need to mark a 32 by 32 inch square where you want the column to be placed. Call your city service to mark the location of all underground utility lines before you begin. Call 811 for more information. When it comes to the type of wall you build, you can decide if you'd like to make it straight, curved, or serpentine. You may even want to put a column at the other end. To keep this guide short and sweet, we're going to build a straight, 12-foot, freestanding wall with a column on each end. Start by marking the ground with the length of your wall. The wall needs a 22-inch width. At the other end, mark another 32 by 32-inch square for the second column. Now use your shovel to excavate what you outlined to a depth of 12 inches. Make sure you remove all vegetation and debris and compact the base before you move on. Pour even layers of base material a few inches at a time to a depth of 6 inches. This step is very important and will give you a solid and flat surface for your project. For the first course, which we'll call Layout A, Arrange the blocks in this configuration. For the rest of your wall, alternate between the large and small blocks along its length. Adjust the blocks side to side so they fit tightly together. Use a level and dead blow hammer to make more precise adjustments. Don't move on until you're satisfied this course is level. After each column course, use construction grade adhesive to secure the blocks. For your wall courses, use our patented keystone interlocking pins to create a perfectly aligned block-to-block -block connection. Place the pins into these holes on the wall units. You'll use one pin per each set. You can check out our quick tip video on the keystone pin system if you want to learn more. For the next course, which we'll call, you guessed it, Layout B, arrange the blocks in this configuration and continue placing the blocks along the length of your wall. Mix the small and large Country Manor units to create a random pattern along the length of your wall. For maximum strength and a professional look, make sure your vertical joints don't line up for more than two courses. Don't forget to check that each course is level before moving on. Continue alternating between course layout A and B until you reach your desired wall height. The maximum wall height should not exceed five courses. To finish off the column, use this configuration for the next course and this configuration for the last course while continuing to use adhesive. Now for the final touch. Dry fit and center the caps on top of the column and down the length of your wall. Depending on how long your wall is, you may need to cut some of the cap units for a snug fit at the ends of the wall. Not to worry, we also have a quick tip that covers making cuts. Once you're happy with the arrangement, use construction grade adhesive, one cap at a time, to finish off the project. Well done! Those are some fine looking columns and one excellent wall. Hmm, some keystone patio stones would look nice. So, we've shown you how to build a basic column and now you know how to build a freestanding wall along with it. How about illuminating your DIY prowess with a column and light fixture combination? Stay tuned to the Keystone How-To Series on our website at keystoneretailproducts.com for step-by-step -step instructions. It's easier than you think.